Now you see me a little white? Yes, <laughs> brighter. But uh, don't see too far. Come, come nearer. Ah, yeah. Okay, good. Are we, are we live? Great, it's 202. I'm going to stop you now. And we are live on Facebook. Huh? Okay, okay. One moment. Oh, oh no, I see big. <laughs> yes, because, uh, uh, okay. All right, are you seeing both of us on Facebook? Yes, okay, great. So we're good. We're on live on Facebook now. So let me start. <laughs> Good afternoon and to all people in Asia, to um, friends in Europe, good morning. Good morning, Jumpa. Good evening to friends in uh, America and Mexico. So thank you, thank you very much for joining us today. Um, yes, unfortunately we were not able to uh, make it last week. And here we are today. Okay, so we are live on Zoom as well as Facebook at this moment, and we have participants in Zoom. Uh, please, um, please keep your uh, audio muted as well as your video off, okay? And uh, we will open for Q&A later on. And as of this time, um, about half an hour, Jumpa, we will do some sharing from Jumpa. We'll hear from him as well as, um, yeah, we'll attend to the questions later. And when we have the time, I think Jumpa can do some uh, demonstration for us of how this lung uh, blockages uh, technique can be done by normal people like you and me, you know? So um, Jumpa, good morning. You had your early meditation. A oh, very beautiful good morning to all of you. And good evening to all of you. And I don't know, good night to all of you too. Afternoon. It's afternoon, afternoon for us. <laughs> and thank you so much that Cleo, you are bringing me into this machine <laughs> that I can <laughs> talk with the machine. You know? <laughs> we had our machine talk last. We started last year, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Last year during our first uh, breeding exercise, uh, last year, it was, um, that was the first for Jumpa as well. Yeah, I'm actually not used to with these things of using things, you know, for me, it's like a completely, I feel like I'm, I'm in the kindergarten learning new things. So whenever I come to Zoom or kind of like this, I get a little bit nervous because I don't know how to use it. And I only know how to check message, how to send message and how to email and sometimes how to watch video. <laughs> That's good enough. <laughs> and, then, and then talking, That's all. <laughs> anyway. it's, it's always a good learning. <laughs> yeah. I really like to say sorry that last time what happens at I was very feel shame on that, very shy what I have done, you know. Actually, I was in the middle of somewhere in the bush. Yeah, yeah it, that was a connection problem last week. And uh, yeah, we apologize to everybody for, for the inconveniences caused. Um, so we're here today, you will not be, you'll be happy, you know. I am you very happy. Today, I'm sure. <laughs> I get up six o'clock in the morning and thinking about how to make it better, you know. Yes, I can hear you were singing earlier on uh, to calm down, I guess. <laughs> that was great. That was great. That's good. That's good. <clears throat> so uh, just a little bit of uh, introduction about Chumba, um, Master Chumba Lama. Um, I, I met him a few years back in Germany, and uh, I find that he's a very, very kind person. Um, he jokes a lot and he laughs a lot, <laughs> very happy-go-lucky kind of person. And he does a lot, a lot of sharing 
online as well as in Facebook. If you can, if you Google for his name, you can actually search for his videos on uh, which he, he has uh, shared in YouTube. So I think a lot of people also shared about Jumpa in YouTube as well as in, uh, in Facebook, you'll be able to find him. His name is Jumpa Lama, right? I mean, if you are after this, after this session, you would like to be connected to him, please do. He has um, you know, a Facebook account as well. So we make it easy for our connection with Jumpa. We can connect with him on, on Facebook. You just message him huh, for any questions. <laughs> He's a very, very busy person. He just came back from a tour. And uh, that's why we managed to get him here today. And he's back home, I see. Um, so yeah, so thank you very much, Jumpa, for doing this live session with us today. Yeah, a lot of people here are waiting to hear from you about how this technique can actually help people with, uh, you mentioned before, um, uh, before COVID and after COVID. If a person had COVID before, they can practice this and it will strengthen their lungs as well. Yeah, Jumpa? Yeah. So before we go into that topic, let's just uh, get to know more about Jumpa. So Jumpa, just uh, can you share with us about what you have been doing recently? Oh, I've been doing so many things. Apart from your tour. <laughs> I think you came back from uh, Nepal. You came back yes. from Nepal yes. recently, as well, right? I go, I go and visit Himalaya uh, twice a year. Yeah. And I'm going to Himalaya in twice a year with the joyfulness. I bring there for joyfulness. I mean, I came from very uh, remote area from Himalaya or about like 3,800 meter high. So from there, yeah, came down to Kathmandu and become a monk and now become not monk. Now actually teaching breathing is, I never thought that I will teach breathing to people. Actually my dream was I want to become a tour guide. When I was early young age, I see guides are very, they have to do nothing. They just taking around, showing around the place, you know, traveling and this is the wow. I see, I want to be like that. It's a very easy job, no stress, just roaming around, just roaming around. And plus I saw something, some guide, they even have a commission when there's a people buy things there, you know? And I was thinking, wow, this is the best way to sleep life. Doing nothing, you know, just roaming around. <laughs> Then it changed life. So life is like, what is tomorrow? Never knows it, know what will make it. So I came in a completely different direction. After that, yeah, every year I'm doing one kind of project in Himalaya. So mostly I've done project like building school or setting up the water, drinking water, provide them for uh, drinking water those who has a very difficult conditions on drinking water. So I provide them for pump, pipe, and water tank, materials thing. And yeah, until now I have done several projects, maybe, I don't know, more than 100,000 people. Actually, project was very interesting. 15 years, 16 years ago, 16 means 2005, almost 16 years, 16 years ago, I went to visit my birthplace. And from there, in my birthplace, I was building a school, which is like six rooms, like until the class six. And, and after that, me, my friend, we coming down to Kathmandu from Himalaya. It was around like the nine days journey by feet. After four days, it was very hot area, very thirsty. You really like looking for water. 
and you're going heely like up and down, up and down and very hot and very thirsty. So one corner, there is one old lady with one old man selling the chai, like tea stuff. They're selling tea. And I was asking there, it was quite like two o'clock in the afternoon, it's quite hot. I was asking her, can I have a glass of water? She said to me, I don't have a water. I have a Coca-Cola or I have a uh, tea, chai. Then I said, I don't want chai. I want oh, the, the, the water. And she said to me, nobody's going to get the water. You have to walk down for 30 minutes and bring up on the water. And then I told her, okay, I will drink this time from you. I will have a tea from you. Next time when I come back, I will set up, I will set it up here, drinking water for everybody. So from there I start my drinking water. I set up the pump and she don't have to walk down. And just next to her tea, tea stall, I even met the set up the water tap for everybody can have it. Whoever passed through that, everybody can have. Because that area is main passage for the one part of Himalayan path. So there is uh, local goes there, animal goes there, donkey goes there, human goes there. So everybody can have water. And then from there on, oh, that was quite funny water. We have almost a like three kilometer Three kilometers far away from there, you have to bring a water. First, we climb on the rock, on the hill, we set it up tank. You have to carry our cement and sand, but locals are very strong, they carry up, you know. And then we set up a huge big tank. And from there, we put the, we set up the water pipe until the uh, tea stall. Everything fix it. Now we want to start one, two, three, we open it. In 10 seconds, it blasted because too strong. So everything is doing by learning, you know. And then next time we start doing different one tank to draft other tank and other tank to other drop. And at the end, very easy, like this with zigzag. And this is the uh, how uh, I learned. And hundred, every day, hundreds of people drinking water from there. And then Next village, I saw next village. Water is everything. Actually, I was supposed to, I was supposed to set up the uh, school building because many buildings in Himalaya, there is a place, but buildings all collapse. Because of collapse, because of no building, then kids doesn't come there. So I was asked some village, I saw that I said, I will build it up the school building. They say, we don't need the school building, we need water. Without the school building, they can survive. Without water, it's very difficult. And especially they have season, they can have uh, six to seven months, they can have good water. But four to five months, they, some they really hardly walk. They have to walk for one hour so, or 30 minutes, 40 minutes going down. And I saw that some kids going to school, with, with the water bottle, like the five liter, four liter, three liter, like the bottle. And when they finish the school and they bring back home with the water. Yes. And yeah, actually many things to share, but this one hour is... <laughs> How how far are those uh, villages from the city? Oh, from city is quite far. It's like the, you have to take almost like the 14, 15 hours by bus. And oh. then you walk, I think three, four days. Oh. This, oh, year, this year last, this year between March and April, what I did was the 24 hours drive by bus. You drive today and next day and next day evening you reach there. 
And then from there also, you drive by you drive by jeep for around six to seven hours, mm. and and then but no need to walk. Then is you are already there village because some village area they already set up the very rough road, mm. but these rough roads are runs only in uh, after the after the monsoon and most of the monsoon time they all washed away so nothing moves at there so mm -hmm. we have we have been there before the monsoon start so we provided there for around uh, 90 houses wow that's good around like the, uh, from five kilometers from there bringing water pipe set up same like same structure one tanky one second tank, third tank, then you have a water. Otherwise, from some part is too very strongly running, it will blow everything. That's right. How, how many how many water tanks have you, or how many villages have you set up this uh, water tanks? Oh, water tanks, I have one, one, two, three, four. Oh. Oh. Yeah, maybe more than uh, maybe more than six, seven. Mm -hmm. Only water I provided for more than thousand people. Th just wait, now coming more and more. About let's say twenty to thirty, twenty to thirty thousand people's drinking water. Wow! And when we go there, we don't make structure because some people in village network is very fast, like an internet, but they don't have internet, but their mouth talking is very fast. Oh, wow. 50 kilometers away, you provide them water, right away, next day, the next village will hear, wow, how come this happened like this, you know? Oh, wow. How, how did they send a message in such a fast? They yeah. have mobile yeah. phones? It's, it's uh, like chi, it's like wind elements. The toxic goes and you know very fast. <laughs> you send a message with the birds. Maybe. <laughs> Always watch movie and then and send messages with the birds. <laughs> yeah. And then these people, they try to uh, reach me and they try to take me all the information. I go, I don't go just like this, set up the water like this school. I go. It's they really they need it or not. If there's really difficult conditions, then okay, I set it up all this. So until now, like it's 30,000 30, 30, people in around Himalaya drinking water. Some people they never thought that they live in mountain, they believe it drinking water only come from the upper part, you know. So what we did. They, we go down from the down to up pumping it. <laughs> and I think best thing and one of the joyfulness part is somebody's help. I take it and I go and give it to somebody who are really looking for that. And from there, once they got that receipt, when they got this energy through that they're enjoying it and that enjoy is i believe it that's the blessing for me from god because it's not my energy it's somebody's helping me and i bring this energy to the where they really need it so i pour them and because of this joy they're dancing it and if you watch their joy on dancing, and this is, you see, real kind joyfulness is there. Sometimes I believe, wow, I'm the richest man in the world, you know. This, it makes very happy because some people, I've seen the people get mad by happy. One village, they have been dreaming about 20 over 20 years they cannot move away 
because they're generation, generation living on the mountain on top. So very suffering by water. So they have been talking with the many different people, many different. Nobody came, they came because there's no water source. So we did it from me, my friend, we did from the lower to upper pumping one pump, set up big tank, and then from there one pump go up again, one big tank, and then up like three pump at then three tank and you reach on the top. And the right on top of the hill, I set up 20,000 liter. Wow. And 20,000 liter from there, it goes 300 houses. That's, that's very good, very noble uh, action. <clears throat> yeah, and then people, first they could not believe it, it will happen. Mm -hmm. So it happened because of joy, they're jumping in the bush. Because of joy, they take the rock and hit on the head. This is so joyful, they say, you know. It's like a dream. Some they even never thought in dream it came. And they, some village, they treat, <laughs> they treat me like I'm a form of God. I say, no, I'm not a form of God. That's a, you don't know what is inside my inside. No, I'm just like human. <laughs> Maybe crazy human. <laughs> I'm just bringing somebody's gift to the way they need it. Good. That's very good. That's, that's very, very good hearted of you, Jumpa. <laughs> and uh, with all these people, I'm sure you, you also taught them how to do the breathing up there as well, yeah? Yes. My, my teacher said to me before he passed away, good things should not hide it and should not keep it. If you start keeping good things in your heart, then slowly, slowly, you will start turning into greediness. So good things should not keep it, just open it, they say. If you open one good thing, there's 10 good things will come, he said. And it's really, it's really, I believe it's really true. Look, uh, through the breathing exercise, I'm traveling, I am, through the blessing of, sometimes I also believe this through the blessing of those people who really needs it. And I was bringing them energy through the, their blessing, you know. I, something I don't know, I really, miracle for me is every day is miracle. Happy every day. So I started sharing what my teachers say. What you have inside, good things, share it. And bad things go in the toilet in the morning and flash it, he said, before he passed away. And it's really, it's really true. Yeah. That's, that's right. I agree with you there. Why, why keep sadness? Yeah. Anger in life, your heart. Life, I mean, like, I believe rich from here. I think that's the most joyfulness rich. Because if you're rich by cash and you have a lot of friends surrounded you, all they are hunting something, I don't know it. But if you have a rich by your heart, only joyful wherever you go. So you, know, you don't care what type of people who, who they are, whether they are, I don't know whether they are, high or lower or middle, I really don't care. Just care for fun and joy. And that's uh, like the, what do you call it? Uh, I forgot the name. Mm. What is a joyful uh, creating in the, in the brain? When somebody takes somebody take narcotic, let's say example, it's something creating joyfulness. But this nothing to do with narcotic, narcotic create by your own energy by breathing, and it makes happy and this whole day happy. It becomes like you are addicted to the happiness energy. That's yeah. <laughs> you. I mean you see people happy or just wow, you're so happy. <laughs> I, I, I'm like that too. So I, I see a lot of messages that they are, they are agreeing with what you're saying here as well. 
<laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's true. But so how how do you actually fund all these projects, Jumpa? Oh, actually, I mean, first I start two thousand four. I start with a I was organizing tour, and from there. Little little money which I collected when I make tour to in Nepal, Tibet, Bhutan, India, and from there what comes money little part. I just like to give away because I myself I came from nothing. And when I see somebody on the street really difficult conditions, and I see that's me myself. That's that was me, you know. And I saw one time one lady. With a little child begging on the street, and she was having tuberculosis. Mother was having tuberculosis, a child, and from there I start more and more power come. I was looking to her. Wow, that looks like me and my mom, who gave me life, who birthed me, and who gave me birth. So she is like she she is my mom. Let's say mother. So I was thinking to helping her. I took her in hospital, start to financing, and then uh, next tour comes it, and I started helping other ones. And next tour comes it, I started helping other one, and then I start doing two hundred euros per female on the street. They can sell tea, chai, chocolate, biscuit like this. It costs two hundred euro. And if you go with them for shopping for two hundred euros, and they can sell the tea and chai, and from there they can live. And I think there's some uh, interesting. You try to bring them up, they will go back to same positions. And some you try to bring them up, they really want to rise up. It's kind of like the. I don't know how do I say it's maybe karma or I don't know how to describe you know, and some you give them two hundred euros shopping they do after one years later they make it two hundred euros and they come to me giving this is for you I want to give you back money you know, then I say okay this give it to the other people, and they sharing like one two three shop five like seven eight nine shop like this. And some after four years, you go and look them in same condition. Hello, like this, you know, same condition. So I was thinking, there is the people, many different type of people. Some there, they want to move. They are looking for support. Some they want to move. Even you bring them good place, they will go back to same positions. So from there, I start. Uh, One after one, one after one. Then、uh, I started building up the school. The school, first school, was supported me by Dr. Jays and some of the some of the students. They supported me. And then when after after one after one, then it went like this many. Then came to in Europe. I have a group called musician group, and we start to sing together. We give a concert. And from there, whatever money comes, we go there. Yeah, very inspiring. Very inspiring. I mean, it was very touching. <laughs> <laughs> I feel for the mother.、Um, yeah, like、uh, what Grandma suggests always says that、uh, sometimes it is like what you said, karma. You know,、mm-hmm. they they tend to go back because they are in comfort zone. They do not know what to expect in their life. So they always go back because it's very comfortable for them, unless if they really see the need to change, right? Mm-hmm. Well, there is,、yeah. there is, there is, there is some, some I connect them direct. Some I will ask. There is some street smart kids. I ask them what you want to be, and they they want to be studied like this. Then I will tell them, okay. I will contact them direct. I will ask to my friend, okay. There is somebody need to help. Do you want to help? Yes. Okay. Then I will give them direct contact. So I don't want to be middle persons, you know. Just contact directly. Some they become a doctors.、Mm-hmm. Yes, Some it's very very interesting. Yeah. One time, I was going to restaurant, having food, and the boy works in a bar. 
And when I'm in the, in the restaurant, the boys always try to go far away. You know? Then later I went to him, hey, I, I don't know that. I see your face somewhere else. And the boy was crying me. He said, oh, Lama, yes, I feel shy to stand. You was helping me a lot. Now he changed his life. Many street kids, I even dropped them back to home. So it has long story to share. <laughs> Very long story. I'm sure you have lots and lots of them to share. <laughs> I don't think one and a half hours is enough. <laughs> and you know, you can I can just sit here and listen to you while you, you share your stories. And I, I didn't feel like, you know, stopping you in any way. You know, but, uh, the yeah. happiness is very much like tennis ball. Very much like tennis ball. So you hit it out and it comes If you back. hit it on the wall, it come back. <laughs> if you hit a wall with it angrily, it comes back, and joyfully, it comes back. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So it's very much like so. You do something; it's somehow, somewhere, somebody's always there. That's right. Since I'm kids, I'm telling myself: if those who has nobody, there's always somebody there. That's what we believe in God. Mm -hmm. If those who has nobody, they always nobody's there. That means there is no God. So we believe in God. That means those who really has nobody, there's always somebody's there. Yeah, that's right. So you have to like seek that. for help, I guess. Mm -hmm. You have to seek for help. Because and help people, help. yeah, humans, we people need people, you know, and. That's right. That's good. So I agree with you there, Chumpa. <laughs> yeah, because the only the only person that's going to I mean, the only thing or the only one that's going to come and help you is actually another person, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you're in need of help. The same thing that we have you here, Jumba, to to share with us about how to clear the lungs blockages. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so, so let's come into this topic. This is a very exciting topic because um, I know this is a very much needed technique. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of problems are connected with lungs and breathing and breathing. And uh, even grandma suggests is stressing a lot about uh, breathing as well. And I see that you are also, um, you've been teaching about breathing as well. We had our first course with you last year. And I'm looking forward to have another course, maybe sometime in November, um, about this technique, about how do we actually clear our lungs that is blocked? Or how do even one person know that their lungs are even blocked? Maybe you can share about that. Yes. Or what do you think? Yes, nice to share. I'm happy to share. Share and people should go and keep practicing, you know. Once they are happy and they should share to other people, they should give to other people. Um, they don't need to use the I learned from this person or this person. They don't need it. Just pass it. What you know, just pass to neighbor. Because first start passing with neighbor. Because with a neighbor upside down, then the whole day is upside down. Because you get up early morning, you see neighbor. So try to be humble, harmony, nice with a neighbor. And then from there, it goes, goes, goes more, more happy. Because you get up in the morning, you see neighbor, right? And then you're thinking, shit, man, I've seen this man again, you know, all days. You start day with the shit, you know? So you see, you start doing nice, happy with neighbor. You start to see early morning, hey, good morning, how are you? Like talking nice, you know? So this is no <laughs> good energy start from neighbor. <clears throat> so once you have this technique, one or two techniques, if you like it, give it to your neighbor, give it to your friend, those who have a problem with the uh, voice problem, those who has a problem with a breathing problem, 
those who are suffering from asthmatic problem or those who are suffering from any kind of blockage of lungs and those who are suffering from very lower of the blood oxygens and these breathing exercises um, are very helpful uh, through my through my this experience and journey of breathing uh, i've learned a lot because i give teaching i thought for i don't know maybe so many people so many people so many people and i was telling if you learn or if you have it please give it to other share to other because you are helping other people and to help other people is very very joyful breathing yes example we are living in the pranic energy or chi energy everything need breathe oxygen even tree let's say example breath is a seed of fruit if you want to harvest the tree if you want to harvest the fruits from tree or apple from tree first you have to plant the main source energy is a seed same thing our life everything's movement talking sleeping going eating shitting whatever let's say blah 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 talking thinking all has to do with the chi energy it's a breathing so if you have less bring less breath in the body then is you have less energy if you have more breathing in the body you have more powerful and more energy because of more oxygen in the body it will clean the blockage if you have less oxygen in the body then slowly 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 we have stress there we eating there we eat good food not good food all kind of food what we eat say all kind of things what we eat everything we put it from this mouth and we let it go in a compost but certain age comes that what we put from mouth it's supposed to be compost is not in the compost is stuck to get sticking inside and slowly 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 then problem slowly goes up because when the lower part is blockage then it will raise up negative part up then start creating the blockage then this blockage are connected with each organs with well, what the people say now these day people talk about so much and vagus nerve vagus nerve. vagus nerve is not the uh, common we know is it long time before from the whoever meditates it because channel from the crown chakra it goes with the main tube center tube it's very much like the you build a one floor two floor three floor five floor fourth floor house and you have main center wipe water pipe it pumps it up then you have main water storage on the roof of the house and then from there it dropping down to first floor second floor third floor fourth floor fifth floor but it hot main channel is there but from there one is blockage first block is floor is blockage so what happened first floor has no water rest three has it because first has no water rest three has it so what the rest of three also getting imbalanced because very strong power coming in it cannot be equal like before or yesterday it will be different very strong power so very strong will also destroying it so water pipe slowly 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 start getting older older then inside creating a chop and then one day water will crack because of that many house we see old house we see the walls uh, fungus wall has a uh, the, the it is the called blockage and from there from they start skin problem or uh, eye problem or heart problem or lung problem or digestion problem or whatever problem because problem 
is not from outside problem, it's what we take it. Everything body, everything function of the system because we forget ourselves. In the many of us, we never think of ourselves. We think about future. I want to be future this, I want to be future this, I want to be this, I want to live like this, I want to be live like this. But future is too far away. We never know what is tomorrow. What is will happen right after five minutes, we never know that. So that's why our mind is go so far away because mind goes so far away, body become a very zombie. And the body is giving energy is the prana, it's called the chi. So energy inside the body, he always flows where the, where the mind goes, where the mind takes it. And mind is very much like a hungry ghost. He will be, never be happy. If you are multi-billionaire, you won't be happy. You want more, 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 more. This is the mind. So topic about mind is how to come back mind into me. That's me, that's I am, you know? If people know this system or people start to combining mind into me, then they will understand slowly, wow, what is the happiness? Who am I? Why I am here? They will understand slowly. They will understand the slowly, slowly energy of our inside body. Because many people, they do energy for somebody else far away. Or many people, they run. Only this brain pulls it, mind pulls it. So get up in the morning every day, make it myself for 30 minutes. It belongs to me 30 minutes. Or if you have a time, make it one hour. This one hour is for me. I don't sell it nobody else. Normally eight to nine or eight to 10 or eight to five or nine to five times, we are selling time for somebody else. And this selling time, somebody else, this, this moment you're playing with the good part, not good part, all kind of part and this creating in the brain and you start getting one after one after one after one after five, like it's so heavy five. And you come back home, you lie on the bed. Some people, they even eat it. They even don't know what they're eating it, you know. They have only, they will taste sweet, sour, bitter, or spicy. That's all in the tongue, but the rest, they don't know it. Because they forgot themselves. So if you know this system, then breathing is very, very fast, effective, or you can heal very fast. So that's, I just want to tell you what is the importance of breathing is breathing is connecting to the body yourself. Because when you inhale, you have a feeling there, you know, and then you hold it, then you exhale. If you keep on doing this one day, two day, three day, four day, five day, then we will understand the sensations of body. <laughs> I have a dog come. <laughs> I have a little dog. You know? <laughs> That's so cute. It's okay. Go on. Dog is gone. Dog, dog. dog does not suitable for our life, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. So what I want to say is, <laughs> please get up in the morning, everybody just try to think myself, who am I? And that moment, one hour is my time. I don't want to give nobody else one hour. I want to be happy through that. I want to live healthier through that. I want to recharge your body. And recharging body is breathing. You inhale push down and exhale like this. I have seen a lot of people who are suffering from the uh, lungs, breathings. 
It's really, really clear. I don't mean I'm a healer, okay? I just give the recipe. I'm just passing it to you. So if you practice it within a few days, you will have result. Because many of us, this part is like a fridge refrigerator. You buy, put it inside, you buy, put it inside, you buy, put it inside. We never washed away. We, until now, 99% of the people, we only wash outside. You take shower every day, two times a body, two times a day, two times a day, still stinks it. Because we don't know how to wash inside. If we start learning, if we start healing, if we start washing internally, organ said, you will get very joyful. So breathing is internal healing, not only mentally healing, not only external healing, it will heal the main roots. Like a dry tree, we are giving water to the, uh, water to the roots. When we take care of the roots, always getting joyful. So breathing is source for whole system. So breathing is like giving energy to the roots, internal part of our body, right? Yes. Breathing, now I'm talking about the, uh, we are talking about the uh, cleansing talk. What do you call this? Detox? Or how do you say detox? detox. Yeah, a lot of people yeah. go. But same breathing, if I go for channel uh, energy way, then there is the different channel. Then there is the female part, male part, central part, and then elements part, after elements, then, then comes the chakra parts. All these parts, are, uh, these things are uh, not seen by these eyes. We made an eye, this eye, to see external external materials, external things movement. But which I'm talking about the energy part inside the female, female circulation, male circulation combined together, central circulation touching to the crown chakra. These are the energy channels seen by third eyes. And third eyes, what we call the, when we keep on meditate, you will have a certain time, you will get the vibrate here. It's like little hole there, little hole. And through this little hole, you start, we start creating the light. Through the light, if you turn it, and you see systems are there. For this, is, yes, we need to practice. I think we need to practice quite long because difficult is, nothing is difficult. Every breathing, what I'm doing, this breathing exercise, meditation, whatever doing, it's really, really nothing difficult because of too easy that makes us for us lazy. So lazy is the difficultest part. If you sit, it's right after you, right under you. Everything is right next to me. You know, if no need to go to ask somewhere else, everything inside. Because of everything inside, then is you don't see the value. Then it's too easy. Because it's too easy, then you say, ah, it's easy, easy. Then we don't care for this easy thing. We care for difficult part. If we, you know, the big burning fires, it's always start with the easy, very small fire. If you don't take care and it goes big, 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 then burn the whole jungle. The river floating from the mountain, it started somewhere floating and then slowly bigger, 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 bigger comes like this. If we care about the small things, it, will, it won't be happen big things. So same thing. Everything's right within us, within me, because of too easy. So we don't care, is it? Like a kindergarten. Joyful is part of kindergarten. Everything has to learn that they are very things joyful. They will learn many things. Same thing if you keep on playing inside your energy. You see so many things. Sometimes you never expected to see, like you never thought, you never dream. You see, what the is this? So when inside channels, inside meridians, when they started creating their own lights, then 
it's a uh, very very everything's wake up then people talking about the seven chakra chakra will understand so people talk about the elements elements will understand people talk about the uh idala pikala means like the left left right center nadi they will understand that then slowly slowly they will understand the mind because mind and breath is uh, both uh, emptiness mm -hmm. but feeling there i cannot show you directly my mind i cannot show you but i have feeling there i cannot show you breathing energy or chi or energy whatever let's say prana or i cannot show you but when the winds are blowing it trees are dancing it you know when is wind blowing i when take out my t-shirt wow cooling air it's a sensation feeling there so emptiness with the sensation energy mind and breath when these two things combine together and then it's very very interesting the mind brain become completely empty stress mind thinking mind heavy mind this will become an empty completely empty because of this empty it makes you so happy because of this empty you have less fear because there is nothing pressure there you know yeah yeah that's right so so how how does one person actually know that they're doing it right i mean or they only have to do it uh, during the meditation in the morning it can be done any time during the day right but how how would one person know that they are breathing correctly okay this breathing no need to do meditations if you add meditations then it's fantastic otherwise you can just breathe as a normal healing person for yourself means we are healing for other people until now try to heal yourself in the morning we get up clapping until now we clapping for only other people you know but the real person sometimes is inside he is hiding inside and we don't know whether whether he is happy or not happy or sad or we don't so try to clap yourself and one day he wakes up say wow i'm happy like this we can combine together if you have a time you can combine meditations meditations is just start with a very very simple there is two different type of meditations shine hakkam means one is the one is the birds still in the egg joyfully protected by mama you know very joyfully relaxedly and one is from egg you wake up now i see the world tan tara like you know flying at the end you see many different things you see the crane you see peacock you see the all kind of things this is the higher level but other beginning just has to think concentrate only on breath just watch on breath because easiest method is breath is with you as long as breath is with me i am alive moment breath is gone i'm not any more life so that's when my best friend for me is my breath until the my end moment my breath is gone my body is cold within 3 to 4 hours start to get stinking you even don't need long time within 4 5 hours you start to get stinking and the next day and then i don't know maybe when i get old maybe i don't next day my son will throw it or i don't know you know so until the my last part is my friend is my breath so if i take care of my breath then i will understand myself if i take care of my breath then i have a feeling sensations on body is there otherwise your mind is always going out and body has no feeling there you know that's why we need to bring body into sensations body into feeling done by breathing that's good that's good yeah the, thank you for sharing the 
the you know thank you for sharing about that uh, Jumpa. Um, yeah this this is very important that we have to basically love ourselves yeah learn more about ourselves uh, learn more about ourselves what mm. we need basically breathing the moment we well we we breathe the whole time mm. right and yes uh, when you don't when you stop breathing there's no more life yeah it's true my topic what i'm sharing is be <laughs> be be healer on yourself be Heal yourself. Yeah, be heal on yourself. Try to be friend on yourself. Um, be scientist on yourself. Search on yourself, not only for external. Search on yourself and your mind and your body. This is the uh, what I'm sharing. Okay. Um, so basically, we're gonna open the session for q a if anybody have any questions uh, that you have for jumpa all right so um before <clears throat> uh, when you don't have any more questions let me just charge my laptop sorry <laughs> just one moment <clears throat> Okay, yes, uh, a few questions are coming in. So Chumpa, what's the difference between breathing out from your mouth and your nose? Because we see, you yeah. know, some, some teachers are teaching breathing out from the nose. Some I see that you're teaching breathing out from the mouth. When is the right time to breathe out from your nose and from your mouth? Yeah, good questions. Very good question. Number one, you use the nose. Now I would like to tell you nose. Nose especially made it for sensations to brain, to lung. And please always keep open your nose. Try to <laughs> always try to make the nose open. When the nose start to get blockage, your body your body become not that powerful. Then always start to get slowly, slowly energy going down, energy going down, energy going down, and lungs start to get problem. Now, second topic, what do you say? Why I'm breathing outside from, exhale from uh, mouth, uh, inhale from nose. I have, I do some exercise, inhale from nose, push down, and then exhale from mouth. This exhale, when I exhale long term, it will vibrate to my entire gland. Because of exhale long, it's vibrating thyroid gland. So it will stimulate it and heals the thyroid gland. Because thyroid gland is, I believe, it also playing very big roles in our body, in our system. Because whatever we eat, it goes from here, the little tiny hole. So when this become a dirty, this become upside down, and body immune system also become upside down. So that's where some of the, my exercise from nose, from inhale from nose, exhale from nose. And some of the, my exercise, inhale from nose and exhale from mouth. This is the number. And secondly, you have to imagine like a balloon when you, when you inhale it. Because many people, they're making, they're doing, uh, Opposite mean the wrong system. I cannot say wrong. Maybe somebody's teaching this way. I have no idea, you know. So that's why I cannot say wrong. Please forgive me. But I believe myself this is the wrong. What is the wrong means when I intake air, my belly should be out. This is the right. When I intake air, belly goes, belly goes back. This is the wrong. So people, people when they inhale belly goes in and exhale belly goes this is very very wrong so that's why i'm giving example be like a balloon when i feel the air it blow it like people sing love is in the air you know <laughs> it blow it <laughs> and then when we exhale then we squeeze it this is the right breathing 
So many, of, if you look in the city, if you go out and look for your friend or any of your friends, look how they're breathing. When they stress, not only stress, some people, the long time wrong breathing means when they inhale, stomach goes back like this. When they exhale, stomach come fall down like this. And this is slowly, slowly, there's no muscle working. It's like body become like a zombie. And slowly, slowly, you have big problem in the lungs. And then slowly the asthma problem, was whatever problem like this happens. So inhale, push down, and exhale. Very deep, long, deep. When you have a deep, long, it opens it. It will open the uh, lower chakra because it's pull up everything. You completely, your, your belly goes, belly goes in, and then everything sucking it. And then again, inhale. If you can, you can hold it for ten seconds or fifteen seconds because air is how much you hold. You try to pressure, you try to run away, and then exhale. Because of channels, when you intake air, volume is too high and holding it. So what will what the air start do? He try to push the blockage, he try to run away. Because of pressure, he's pushing the blockage. So through the how he it opens the blockage. Then circulate better feels better, hear better, all the organ sensations are both better, eye sensations, nose sensation, tongue sensation, skin sensation, heart sensation. These all feelings will be better. They all work with a different system, but different system push it by pranic energy. So this is the, this is the uh, uh, question, right? So exhale, inhale from nose and exhale from mouth. It's very affecting for thyroid gland. Those who want to sing do this exercise. It will make good tone, vibrate. Those who have always often problem, often thyroid gland problem, do this. If you keep on doing four or five times and you will get to smell what have you been eating yesterday. <laughs> Maybe spicy, maybe sweet, maybe bitter, maybe, I don't know. It's the smell. <laughs> I, um, I, I used to do that kind of breathing, like what you were saying. Uh, when you breathe in mm -hmm. and my belly goes in instead of coming out. Yeah. Um, you That's know what? Because young ladies, we want to make sure that our belly is slim, you see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when you breathe out, when you breathe in and your belly comes out, it doesn't look so good. <laughs> so yeah. When but, you when you breathe out, and belly comes out. That is the wrong because of your that's wrong, right. wrong breathing. Mm -hmm. Wrong mm -hmm. breathing. When yes. you sorry, sorry. When you breathe in, in, belly comes out. That's the fantastic breathing. When you that's breathe right. out, belly goes in. These are the fantastic system. That's right. Many wrong breathings, what is like, inhale. Inhale. Belly goes in and exhale, belly comes out, you know? And this makes very fast, medium means very fast tire. Mm -hmm. Very fast tire, no power. And slowly, slowly, then digestion, food digestion is not good. Yeah, all kinds of problems actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know that many years ago until I learned the correct way of breathing. You know, <laughs> the whole system mm -hmm. imbalance is mind and stomach. When the, stop, when the mind started to become unhappy, then stomach started to become a disco dancing, like unhappy, you know, music. And then stomach started to become unhappy music then he will create all kind of blockage upside down. So that's why. Take a deep breath in, push down, hold it, 
and release out. When you keep on doing this, this breathing will create a, some kind of um, happy hormone in the brain. Sometimes you get dizzy. Sometimes you get sometimes um, like to sleep. So it will create the, what you call dutanem, 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 what you call like kind of kind of creating chemical in the brain. Uh, That's right. Kind of dutanem, like I don't know what kind of happy hormones creates it. And because of that happy, you take more inhale down and the next. There's even more better if you take the empty stomach with the hot water. Actually, breathing system has a, this breathing pattern has no rules and regulations. You can do anytime. You can do it in before going to bed or you can do early morning before breakfast. But you cannot do it in after lunch, after breakfast, because stomachs are full. So one, and a, one hour to two hours later breakfast or one or two hours later lunch or dinner is okay. Mm -hmm. Best, get up morning, drink hot water and do this exercise. You will live always young, happy. Yeah, young looking, happy, you feel. Young looking, happy. But Jumpa, when do you, when do you, uh, you also breathe out with your nose, right? Not necessarily just with your mouth. No. You can also breathe out from your nose, right? That's not a problem. So yeah. nose is, I call this is like uh, fire elements, whatever. Like when I take intake from nose, there's nose, they have many different, softer, harder, softer, like this is softer, but gentle. But I'm doing most of heart like, <coughs> like this. And the purpose of that is to clear the clean. panel. It's a very powerful, it's affect the whole system, mm -hmm. whole air system, and everything will clean it. Yeah. Yeah. I've tried that before. It's really true. <laughs> The, 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 the mouth breathing is inhale from nose, push it and hold it longer and then this is very, very affecting healing for the uh, thyroid. Okay. So, okay, so we hope you answered the first question. The, now the second question, uh, Jumpa. Um, hi, Jumpa. I often have difficulty breathing through my nose. Is it my lungs have problem? How to improve it? If I would be, I, I would be her or she or he, I don't know. It's uh, a her. Her, I avoid drinking any cold water. And you avoid a few days, you should avoid sleeping under the air conditioner, under the ventilator. Because the nose blockage, there is growing. Some country I've seen it, you have cold water. In the cold water, they add extra ice cube. And this country, like hot country, like you go to, I don't know where, people don't talk. From mouth, they talk from nose like this. That's coming because of too much cold. Mm. Too much, only they're taking cold, everyday cold, 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 cold water. Then, after, then get up morning, no matter what, drink warm before going to bed. Instead of drinking cold, just drinking warm. And get up morning, this breathing exercise, nose, inhale. And it will slowly, slowly, slowly reduce it. And other, other part is one hand is nose often blockage, also pressure high, pushing it. So through the breathing exercise, it will also reduce the pressure. Main thing is reduce the extra cold. I have, 
I have been to certain West country or certain Asian country, the hot country. They really, if you notice it, they talk from nose. Oh, like this. Actually, they talk from mouth, but nose is blocked because they create different tone. Then look at clearly. Just try for four or five days. It's nothing wrong. It's just you will lose another five days. You try. Okay, maybe I try cold water. Okay, not to take cold water for five days. And try what would happening. If nothing happened, we lost nothing, you know. Is if it's something good reaction comes, we win something, we got something idea. And I am very sure many cold country, many hot country, I've seen this. And it will yield it. Breathing exercise and some diet. Yeah, so I hope we answer your question there. Actually, um, actually mm -hmm. people often breathing from nose. They're making lungs are very, very weak, huh? very, very weak. And then they're breathing wrong. Yeah, you have to correct the way of the, the, the breathing. Mm -hmm. And they have also the uh, stomach digestion very weak. Mm. Yeah. So maybe uh, the person that's asking this question, I think Roxin, right? Uh, maybe you can check on that, the way you're breathing. As well as uh, she actually asked as well, is the hard way of breathing, the one that you have done just now, is it to press one side of the nostril and to breathe out from this side? Let's say you breathe in from this side and breathe out from this side. I think, um, Chumpa, what? Yeah. yeah, you breathe in. Yeah, this actually, this is good. You can do it in softer versions. Mm -hmm. And you can actually, this come from triangle triangle breathing it's come from the meditations mm. it's long time before when the buddha sitting of vipassana it's called triangle breathings mm. then it goes softer 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 very soft it goes in okay so so it, means to say with the nostril hold and breathe breathe in on one side and breathe off on one side that is soft way it's not the hard way. There is actually is softer, but we can use it hard also, you know. Inhale, because I give the heart. I want to clean the nose so that I give the heart. And then again, yeah. actually this rhythm, not only breathing, this, this rhythm has a meaning. Mm -hmm. it breathe by cold air and hot air actually when they're really going into practice in the meditations this triangle breathing has a sun uh, as a moon and sun breathing it's like moon is cold feeling sun is warm feeling left and right breathing so they pull inside from left and release it from right and the right pull it and left and they is going with the imaginations. Mm. This means you're creating your own physical imagination in the body. Mm -hmm. And then slowly, slowly, softer, 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 softer. So you become very, very gentle, very, very gentle, very, very gentle, soft. But this, at the moment, what I'm doing is I want to clean nose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then slowly, slowly, you don't need it. This once you're used to with it, you don't need it. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's <not professionals> <laughs> but it's easily done. It's easily done. You can do it anytime, right? Breathing exercise, especially holding, hold it. You can one, two, three, four, ten seconds, fifteen seconds, twenty seconds, how much you can hold. Hold it and exhale. It's a fantastic good for these situations. At the moment, at the moment situations, it will clean everything. If you have a mucus, if you have sliver or liquid, slime, whatever in the lung, it will slowly, slowly cleans it. And it will purify your lungs, purify your blood, oxygen, blood oxygen will be normal, coming back to very strong normal. So good exercise. Good, good.
<laughs> so I hope that answers your question. Uh, she actually re uh, replied that thanks for your explanation, Jumpa. So the next question, can I recite mantra in my mind while I am doing your breathing exercises? Oh, I'm sure she must be Buddhist or she must be some kind of practitioner. Yes, if you have a mantra, you can recite because mantra, if you put it, interesting questions. Like a love is in the air, you don't see the love is in the air. But you, when you imagine love is in the air, and air is boundaryless, it is everywhere. Without air, we cannot live. So same like what her question. Yes, you can recite the mantra with the air. Your body is filled with the energy. But what type of energy? If you want to be, your body want to have a, like a recite on that set. Whatever, I don't know what she mantra. So any kind of mantra, it goes in the body. In the body has a six billion cells in the body. Come into together, made it into one figure like me. Actually, me is there is no me, but it's made it by jump of hormone come into one. It's like ant house, you know, when we see in jungle, hundreds of thousands of ants together, and then they create a one big house palace. The same like this, six to seven billion different type of cells in the body, cells in the body come together and join create me, Chumba. So my mind and imagine when I add my mantra into my breathing, it goes in. Six billion, seven billion cells in the body, they're all dancing and jumping, you know, mantra by dance. This is the healing. This person says uh, she does the Om Ahum mantra. Oh, yeah, Om Ahum, yes, Om Ahum. It's like the, uh, it's a mantra. You can, she can do it. Yeah. Actually, Om Karpo Amarpo Hum, they different, different colors. Mm -hmm. It's white, red, and blue, and then that the different, different colors are there, yeah. And it's combination of imagine if you sit there, this topic comes in salung. Salung means there is different type of exercise, uh, visualizing the energy. Yes, she can do it. Actually, I cannot say she can do it. Of course, <laughs> it's a good, if you do it, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it actually amplifies the energy that she gets, right? Yeah. With, the, with the mantra or with us with the will, right mantra will vibrate the body inside mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. once your once your body cells can and vibrate by mantra and then body turn into the very very unique way it moves completely unique unique way mm -hmm. so you you whatever you use om ahum or om or ahum or whatever you chant whatever you not by mouth making tone, just inhaling time, you imagine your mantras are going inside, it will going down in healing for six billion or seven billion cells. So this is the, when the six billion cells are happy, I am happy automatically. Yes. That's good, that's good. She said, merci, merci, Jumpa. Thank you. <laughs> Mercy, mercy, mercy. I, I don't know how to speak French. <laughs> but I, I know it means thank you. Thank you, Jumpa. Okay. So the next question, Jumpa, can I, res oh, sorry. Hi, Master Jumpa. What is your advice for someone who has asthma? Oh, you know what? Actually, please, I am not the master. I am just like crazy monkey. I am really not the master. For me, is you are the master because you are asking me. So I'm just providing you my idea, a little what I know it. So please don't treat me like a master. I'm not master. So asthmatic problem is best breathing exercise. Those who are suffering from asthma should not drink many things cold. Those who are suffering from asthma reduce sweet things. Mean sweet means not the fruit sweet. 
sweet, which is like the sugar sweet, chocolate sweet, milk sweet, whatever, let's say. And it should be a little bit reduced, cold, whatever cold drinks, whatever cold. And do breathing exercise for asthma. Asthma means actually wrong breathing. Those who are wrong breathing and severe asthma problem when they go to somewhere and they give them oxygen in the mouth to pump it, you know. So asthma is wrong breathing. You need to bring it in the right pattern. And asthmatic patient, go exercise. If you live in a somewhere in hot country, just go in a mountain and just go and hike or you need a little movement. Yes. Okay, so first correct the breathing. Correct yes. the breathing, go for, do the breathing exercise and also go for mountain jogging. Yeah. <laughs> mountain climbing. Mountain okay. jogging or running or little exercise, doing exercise. Exercise. And, little exercise. And avoid cold things. Avoid cold things. Okay. Thank you. So I hope uh, whoever asked the questions, you got your answer there. So the next question, Jumpa, um, is breathing exercise only better in the morning or it can be in the evening as well? This you can do anytime. I said before, you can do it anytime, but do it best would be empty stomach or otherwise you can do it after two hours after your food taking breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. You, if you have sleeping problem, do breathing exercise and go back to bed, you will sleep good because your pressure will come down. If you are doing an early morning breathing exercise, drink hot water and do exercises to clean everything. Then you have more energy. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe the question also linked to what is, uh, is there any difference in breathing in certain locations, like you breathe in the house, in your room, or should you be sitting in your garden or by the beach? You can breathe everywhere. Even your, if you're in your rooms, if you're in your house, these are your own energy. Your own, your own aura is surrounded by you. So breathe in your house or breathe in your room. Or if you want to go ocean side, I also do breathe, but sometimes ocean side, if you're not used to, if you're doing first time, then you might be getting dizzy because of too very fast oxygen in the body. But if you're in your own area, because you are used to with that, you know, it's, you know every wall in your room, you know every floor, every tones in your house. So these are very much connected with you. Just do which part of which corner of the side uh, house is suitable for you. Just sit there and do exercise. Okay, thank you, Jumpa. That, that, I hope that explains the question as well. So the next question, Jumpa, is, Hi, Jumpa Lama, I often do chanting of mantras. And when I did it, I actually stopped breathing for quite long because I had to finish it 21 times or 108 times. Mm. Will will this be bad for my lungs since now I already have difficulty in breathing and maybe uh, lungs is getting bad? Do breathing exercise. Yeah. Yeah. So is it actually, what, what do you think, Jumpa? Should, should the person actually do um, the mantras and the... Uh, actually stopped breathing for quite long. She actually stopped breathing for a long time because she needs to finish it for at least 108 times every time she does the mantra. Yeah. Is, is that actually good no. for this person? Breathing exercise is very, very good. Actually, sometimes it happens because some people, they sit in one place and doing concentrating. Mind is not connecting the body, which I was talking before also, you know, because yeah. Sometimes doing by meditation, sitting like this meditation, mind is completely gone into somewhere else. And that moment you are not connected to the mind. But breathe, yes, you are breathing. You cannot live without breath for three minutes or four minutes, maximum three minutes or four minutes. But that moment, something somehow, main energy inside body, like soul, is something somewhere is moving. And we feel like sometimes like the not breathing. 
but you can turn the pattern. You have to make it sensations on the body. Means you breathe. Just now we are talking, we will share, uh, later on I share one or two techniques and just keep breathing, you know, and this will bring it body sensation to understand the body. Everything, every moment, if you don't understand yourself, that means you are very much like driving a bus with a two bottle of whiskey. Carrying rest, 100 people in the bus and I'm, I drunk two bottle of whiskey and driving a bus, you know. So that means anyway, is myself become an upside down and I will make the rest of all also upside down. So same thing, breathing pattern, just breathe, it will understand who I am. Moment I understand the my body, then I will understand the my mind. Sensations, everything sensation. Now these days, as long as somebody did not give injections, we don't feel it, you know? So same, it's mind, breathe, combine, you do chant or you do pray. It's a fantastic, very fantastic. But please, again, don't think that I am better than, I'm better. Please don't think that I'm better than person who is asking question, okay? I just share my information. Maybe this could be happen, maybe this would be right. But my, my opinion, because I'm doing every day, I get up, I do every day two hours meditation, one and a half hours, two hours. And this is continue for almost 16, 17 years. Mm -hmm. Breathing pattern and meditations are very same, similar. If you do only three days, and then, and then you say, okay, uh, tomorrow I do tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes it, I do tomorrow because tomorrow never comes it. And this makes slow, slow lazy, one after one after. Then after five, six, seven days later, now again you start doing, oh, I feel not good, I want to do breathing. And then you have to take it back, same rhythm is quite hard. Again, you have to go back. Same meditations, any chandra, mantra, pantra, or whatever that meditation doing. This. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I talk like crazy. Huh? <laughs> no, it's okay. It makes fun. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. When you sit nicely every day, and <laughs> I also pray 17 years, but every day when I make one day, two day, three day skip, then I have to pull back my rhythm is quite hard. What I, what, which I build it up, you know? Because mine is very, very fast. Mine is faster than I, I believe, I don't know, faster than rocket or faster than the, the electric when you switch on. More faster than that. Before I make on, light on, my mind is already going there, you know? So because of mine, my hand moves it, because of mine, my body moves it. So mine is so fast. So once you have, okay, tomorrow do it, that will, then, then one skip, two skip, that it takes so long and then cannot be some rhythm. That's what I'm sharing my experience. But once you do every day continue, it will give you level, one after one level, one after one level, one after one level. Maybe in the books, in this level should be this color, but once you are reached there, it will be different color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's a breathing exercise, good, combined. So it's good to be consistent in doing yeah. the breathing exercise. Yeah, yeah. so... Um, yeah, I hope I hope your question is answered there. If it's not, please uh, do raise your question again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the mm -hmm. next question is Jumba. Is there a good exercise for sleep apnea? Apnea. What is it? Is a sleeping problem? What? It's a sleeping problem that you have. Uh, I think um, you're you're not able to sleep properly because of the nose block. Mm -hmm. Yes, the breathing is just I was explaining before, also that before going to bed, if you have mm -hmm. sleeping problem before going to bed, breathe exercise, it will come down to your level. If you have pressure high, it will come down the pressure lower, you will sleep very good. You, you tend to stop breathing uh, when you sleep, the sleep apnea. No, breathing exercise is very, very good. Yeah. 
So, so basically your advice is to do the breathing exercise as well. Yeah, to, to circulate back your, to clear the channel, the breathing channel. Yeah, okay. So I hope that answers your question. Yeah, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so basically your advice, uh, Chumpa, is to, to do the breathing exercise to clear the channels, right? Yeah. Yeah, that should be able to help you, Yasar. Um, yeah, so... If you have a break, if you go and start love, be love with yourself, means be love with the breath. Breath is we have. Until now, we only focus mind, we never focus on breath. But breath, if you start loving, liking a breath, this breath will open all your channels. And the channel, I think channel, it's interesting. Channel has a 70,000, 72,000 different types of channels flowing or covered in our body. From the main channels is like the brain to tell what is going between the uh, spinal cord going like this. These are all connected to the organ. And this, uh, this will open by breathings. When this will open, when, then all the organs start to get reactivated. They start to get more oxygen. Through that, they start to get circulate. One circulate means your channels are open. Sir. You can be, you can be like balloon, jump, sleep, whatever. <laughs> Maybe Jumpa, you can share a little bit about experiences of people that have, uh, you know, have different kinds of illnesses and practice your breathing technique and how, how, I, how it falls. I have plenty to share, but I don't know. You know, sometimes I feel sh shy to share because it's, it's not my it's right. Okay. But still, I like to share. Yes, I have a people who blood oxygen level completely down, almost in the wheelchair. If you have blood oxygen levels about like 67, 8, 70, like this, you're almost like going down. After a few months later, I've seen that they are not anymore, they're coming on their standby feet. And they shows me right in front of me, blood oxygen level is 98.90. And I have a people who have a completely problem with the skin means inside problem. After six months, it's cured with the completely clean. I have one lady, I don't know how many people, sometimes they give me letter. When I give class, they give me letter inside or something like a little bit envelope there. It's with somebody, they, they even wrote, thank you so much. I got new life. And like this, I have plenty. If I say like this, I feel like I'm a like, very arrogant person, you know? That's why I don't like to use these words, like the, what I have done. I only share the recipe and try, that's why I said people. But if I go on healing path, I can say many people who came to me, oh, thank you so much. Someday crying to me, someday coming with a bunch of flowers to me. And they are telling me that I give them new life. Then I say, no. I did not give you new life. I just give you a recipe. Actually, I sold you, you know, recipe. I sold you 450 euros for I sold you, and you took it and you practice it. Does your own energy heal you, not my energy? I'm just selling things, recipe, and you took it, you bought it, you are selling it. You practice it through that. Uh, several people I met, some often headache, no more headache. Some nose are completely black after breathing. It's, it's few few months later. It's completely clean. Mm -hmm. So please don't think that I'm better than doctor. Okay, I'm not better than doctor. I'm just sharing my information. What but I this is very valuable information. Very you know things that we do every day. We can practice it every day. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's very valuable just because it's free today. It doesn't mean that there is no value to it. It's very valuable. Yeah. So thank you very much, Jumpa, for sharing all this 
information because uh, yeah, it's very important. It's very important to do it right uh, with the right technique as well. Uh, Jumba, you also mentioned before about um, about uh, people with cancer. I think. Yes, I I also have a, I also have a people the gone, but it's I don't know. It's interesting. Like I said before, you know, I am not the healer. Healer is you yourself is healer because right. you knows you knows your body much better than anybody else. That's you true. know your body much better than any other physicians. So you know exactly what you wanted. You know exactly how much you wanted. You know exactly what is happening with you. So main key is try to love yourself and think yourself, feel yourself. That's the main key. Mm -hmm. If you have a this, you can heal many things by yourself. That's true. That's true. Uh, I think uh, Raya, Raya said, true, it works. Yeah. Raya also shared that since uh, she practices every day this breathing exercise, she feels happy and good health. I stop medicine mind. Please share yeah, to people. Share to people. Give to people. Good things. I have still like the, my battery volume is nine. <laughs> you do you want to charge your laptop? <laughs> uh, uh, hold on a second. I'll be right back. Huh? Okay, okay. Just give give him one second. One minute. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think when the Jumpa comes back, we'll get him to do a demonstration of the breathing technique. Is that okay? I think it should be all right. Yeah, because, uh, oh, wow, look at the time. It's already one and a half hours. <laughs> so we'll do a quick demonstration. Um, I've actually spoken to Jumpa about arranging or organizing a, a, a short, like a one and a half hour breathing uh, course uh, about this technique that he's going to show. Um, he said that it's very good for people, especially during this time with COVID. And uh, he said that it's very effective to help to clear um, the lungs blockages. Um, actually, what he has mentioned so far is all to clear the channels, the breathing channels. Yeah. So it has been very, very uh, effective. Um, I, I used to, well, just to share with you, because uh, we had, um, while waiting for him, we had, a, I organized a course last year with Jumpa. That was the first time that he did the uh, breathing course on Zoom. And, um, and uh, I used to have asthma as well. Um, I think it's a good question there just now about asthma. And uh, when I was young, I always, have, I always have to go to the doctors for my nebulizer. Um, I always hey, get Mag ik twee bos zonnebloemen? Sorry, who's that? <laughs> Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. Um, so I I uh, had the uh, the breathing problem when I was young, and um, just and I realized about the correct breathing or the the wrong breathing that they were uh, Jumpa was saying, and as well as um, um, another grandmaster was teaching grandmaster Jess. Um, it's about breathing from your belly. That that is the apparently is the right way of breathing. So I have been practicing that belly breathing since uh, 2016. It has helped my, um, my breathing a lot. I don't get asthma attack anymore. I don't have uh, breathing problems anymore. Well, I, I still have some lungs weaknesses, but I'm still working on it. Um, like Jumpa said, you have to do the breathing technique uh, uh, consistently. So. Um, that's my problem there. I have not been doing it. So yeah, that's my problem. But we, after the, um, the course that I have organized last year with Jumpa, I was also a participant in it. So after learning, well, before, before the course with Jumpa, I, I even have problem walking up, you know, first floor. Um, going up first floor is like very tiring for me, but um after the course with Jumpa, it was about, I think, 
for two days, uh, for two days, one and a half hour each day. And it really cleared my breathing channel. And I didn't have problem walking for, you know, a few kilometers and I don't get out of breath. That's really good. I mean, for me, it is a very good transformation, you know. So uh, for people with breathing problems, with lungs problems since young, this is a 360 degrees transformation. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, just to share about um, myself, yes. And uh, the reason why we got Jumpa to do the sharing today is because um, I find that uh, he has been sharing a lot of uh, stories about his, uh, his students um, that he has been teaching all these years. I think that um, it's a waste that we don't do this, this session, this live session today. And uh, Jumpa was supposed to come to Malaysia, actually, um, to come to Malaysia to, for our uh, breeding course. Uh, well, not really just breeding course. It's a re rejuvenation and longevity course that is going to happen on the 30th of October to the uh, 7th of November this year. But because of the pandemic and the travel uh, restrictions everywhere, I think uh, Jumpa has to, to um, he will be connecting with us in Zoom is, uh, for this course. Yeah, Jumpa? Yes. So he, we were supposed to, you know, I have a great plans with Jumpa to go up to Mount Kinabalu and for him to do the breathing, uh, breathing demonstration up there in half naked, you know, the way he always, he always do at Mount Kaila Shore. <laughs> That's very interesting. And I was thinking of getting into the Guinness Book of Record. <laughs> well, I guess we have to wait for that. And uh, when the travel uh, restriction is uh, released, you know. So uh, yes, Jumpa is back. So let's give the time back to Jumpa. Jumpa, <laughs> I don't think uh, there's no more questions, right? Okay, so Jumpa, there, there's no more questions. It's already wow. one, uh, yeah, one hour and 40 minutes. But I was thinking, um, can, you, can you like do a demonstration of the breathing technique that um, for this uh, to clear the lungs blockage or how should one person start? And uh, yeah, how does it work? Yeah. Just a simple one, yeah. yeah. Inhale from nose. Hold it and slowly push down. Um, I'm sorry, Jumpa. Uh, do you mind to move backwards? Can you see me? Yeah, I think they can't see you. And oh. probably need to move backwards a little bit. Is it cold? No, no, so I show you my half in the camera. <laughs> now better? Or? Ah, yes. Yeah? That's, that's good, yeah. No? Okay, I show two different breathing, okay, for lungs. Lungs and diaphragm. Number one. Push down, hold it. And exhale. One more.
one more. Now, special for lungs. Hands should be like this. Lift up. Nose. <laughs> One more. This is the tooth exercise for lungs. Second one is by nose. Inhale from nose. Exhale forcefully from nose. This is lungs plus diaphragm. First one is lungs, diaphragm and stomach. Push down there. And hold it. This is second one is those who are practicing with the chakra, this even activating the two different chakras, root chakra and second chakra, Swadhisthana chakra. Stimulating when I exhale, it rolls a little bit because of its rolls, it stimulates small intestine, large intestine, stomach, diaphragm, lungs, heart, all will negative will come up. That's the two exercise. Do it every day. <laughs> But at least try to give yourself for five minutes. So there you go. That's a demonstration uh, of two techniques that you can do. Um, though if you really want to be uh, guided on step by step, just to make sure that you're doing the right thing, uh, we, we are actually planning to have uh, an online course with Jumpa somewhere, I think, in... Uh, in November, uh, where he has more time, yeah, Jumba. Yeah. So we'll 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 plan and we'll organize and we'll announce to everybody. <laughs> so that was a very good uh, demonstration. Wow, you more fit now. Yeah. <laughs> Do the breathing. You don't need to be go for. Uh, sorry, to, many things good. Yeah, you don't need to go some kind of lifting or anything like this. That's true. Oh, so you don't go and do workout? No, no. No, just breathing. I breathe. I breathe. It will create, it create lungs become more space. When mm -hmm. lungs have more space, the shoulder automatically get bright. Yeah. So you look like you have a bodybuilder kind of body shape, you know? Mm, true. So there you go, guys. You don't need to go for, you know, lifting, weight lifting to get that kind of body. 
<laughs> Just breathing will do. That's yep. very good, very good. Breathing is do. Well, at least you don't injure your body as well. You know, you carry weightlifting. So that's good. And um, Jumpa, uh, if anybody have any other questions, otherwise, we will all thank Jumpa for his very valuable sharing, uh, very insightful as well. And um, let me see, any more? No, okay. Everybody was saying thank you very much for your sharing, Jumpa. Yes, thank you so much. And, um, and uh, our friends in Facebook as well, they say thank you for all your sharings. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just <clears throat> share through the, my breathing journey what I could experience and this is I'm sharing. So please, I am not the master, I'm not the healer, I am nothing. I just share what I know. It. And if you like it, please give to people. You don't need to, you don't need to mention, I got this information from this person, this person is known. Just through you, give to people. I am 99% sure if you do this breathing exercise, it will give you some kind of benefit. And that benefit is very, very joyful. And same topic again, I'll repeat it. Never forget yourself, think yourself, make yourself, love yourself, feel yourself. In 24 hours from there, one hour just for yourself. You're not selling anybody. We sell rest of 24 hours from there, 14, 15 hours we sell somebody else. And then five, six, seven hours, we come with a full of negative in the brain and go home and we have problem. So get up in the morning, one hour, you're selling nobody. Just try to be you, who you are. That's all I want to say. And second things, I am a little bit like this. It doesn't mean that you can go to gym, you can go all kind of thing, what you like it, okay? But I just share <laughs> because you <we> never know. People <laughs> are telling the nonsense things <laughs> now. In the life, what comes it? I'll do it. Yeah, that, that was just a joke. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I mean, that was just a joke from me, all right? Um, Jumpa is a very fun uh, to talk to person. And, uh, you know, even during the uh, course, we tend to laugh quite a lot. So, <laughs> so that's very interesting. So, okay, thank you very much for friends in Facebook. I'm going to go off now from Facebook. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Okay, um, yeah, just a quick announcement before we end the session on Facebook. Uh, we're gonna have another sharing next week on Friday at the same time, it starts at the same time. And this time we're gonna share about, um, about exorcism and how to uplift a spirit or how do you recognize when a person has a spirit on them? Okay, so that is the talk that is planned for next week on Friday uh, at the same time. That's two o'clock Malaysian time. Okay, so I'm gonna end the session on Facebook now. Thank you very much. Thank you, Cleo, thank you.